This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite P775 laptop computer with a cracked screen. It was actually hit by a baseball, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite P775 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we need to disconnect all power, and that means removing the battery. And to do that, we flip the laptop upside down. There's two levers on either side of the battery. We slide both levers out, and then we slide the battery out. Once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, now that we have the battery out, the next step is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need some tools. And I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use for this job. Okay, so let's start with the screwdrivers. We have three screwdrivers, a PH1 screwdriver, PH stands for Phillips, and uh, 1 stands for the size. Next we have a smaller PH00 screwdriver, that's for smaller screws, we may or may not use it. And we have a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, we probably won't use this one, but it's to remove Phillips screws that are at an angle. This is useful for HP laptops, so we probably won't use this one. We also have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife, and that's to remove the plastic screw covers. We'll use that momentarily. And finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that may be stuck. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we have to do in order to remove the screw screen bezel is to remove the plastic screw covers where the screws are hiding behind. And for that, we use the X-Acto knife. And be careful not to cut it because the X-Acto knife is sharp. And what I like to do is put them right next to the screws. And there's four on top. So we go one by one and remove each one and put it right next to the screws so we don't lose it. We keep moving around like so. This one we cut by accident but we can still fix that. We'll just put it together. And finally, we have the last screw cover, which we remove, like so. Once we remove the screw covers, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the six screws that are securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep the screws in a separate pile and that's so we can keep better track of which screws go where when we put the laptop or the screen back together again. So there's four screws on top. We remove and then we have two screws on the bottom. One. And make sure not to lose it and two, so we'll hold it right when we grab it out. Okay, so once we remove all the screws, we're going to remove the screen bezel. And the way I like to do that is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start prying up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. Once you hear the snapping sounds, that's good. That means the screen is coming off. The screen bezel is coming off. We work our way around the whole screen. 
Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. For this particular laptop, it's fairly easy so far. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. And then at the bottom, what I like to do is take the flathead screwdriver that we have and reach reach under the hinge covers so we can remove that like so and same thing on this side and the screen bezel is off so we put the screen bezel to the side and we look at the screen assembly for this type of screen it's mounted to some metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen with some screws and we have to remove these screws as the next step. So for this, um, for some cases, these screws are not very accessible. So we have to loosen up the screws that are holding the hinge, hinges to the screen assembly. But in this case, we don't have to do that. The screws are accessible. And we start with the bottom screw and we start removing the three screws on each side one by one and be careful not to lose these screws and start a new pile for these screws one two and three and we do the same thing for the next one next uh, the other side so we start with the bottom and go one by one when you're doing this make sure you're the screen is tilted back a little bit because once you remove the last screw you don't want the screen falling forward on you so we'd rather fall back a little bit okay the screws are all removed and now what we do is gently start tilting the screen forward and right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive and it's stuck to the back of the screen and we gently lift up this webcam cable and gently start laying the screen down like so and the connector is exposed for this type of screen it's an LED screen and there is only one connector in this location which is the standard location and the first thing we do when we get to the connector is lift some adhesive tape up that's holding the connector to the screen itself and usually the video cable in the back behind the connector has some adhesive and that's also adhered to the back of the screen we lift that up once we do that we pull the connector out like so and the screen is removed before we go any further what I'd like to do is show you how to reconnect it when you reconnect it you slide the connector you slide the connector in and you feel but not hear clicking sounds two clicking sounds that means the connector is properly engaged and also let's get a close-up look at the connector let's see let's lift up the tape it might look better let's get a good focus okay here we go what you see is that the two sides of the connection are flush the, with each other. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection, and that tells you this is a good connection. And be careful with this. This is the number one source of trouble that I see with uh, people doing it at home. Okay, so once we see that, we remove the connector again then we take a look at this screen okay actually let's take a look how bent the screen is this is somewhat unusual in how much the screen is bent but anyway this is a 17.3 inch LED screen and let's take a look at the model number or part number so let's get a good close-up let's try a different way Okay, so the number that you need to know is B173RW01. So when you do your search, search for B173RW01. 
And when you do get your screen, it's not going to have most likely the same number. It's going to be a little bit different, but it's going to be 100% compatible with this screen. Now, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available for the Toshiba P775 laptop. And what you get with us is uh, several things. Uh, we have a two-year warranty. We provide this exact toolkit for free for the screen that you order from us. We can ship to just about any, uh, any country in the world if you're not in the United States. We provide free email technical support when you do an installation. We have a compatibility guarantee. And finally, we ship from uh, three warehouses in the United States, from Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, and Philadelphia. So most likely your screen will get there in two days or less if you choose ground shipping. To order the screen from us, uh, please go to screensurgeons.com. Click buy a screen, or you don't have to click buy a screen, just fill out a short form there. And then we'll reply with the email link to buy the right screen online. And then you can go ahead and do that from there. Okay, once you do get your screen in, connect the connector as I showed you. Put the screen back in here and put the three screws in on each side. If you had to loosen the hinges, tighten those back up. Then snap the bezel back on and put the six screws in and then the screw covers and you're done and your laptop will, should be as good as new. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.